carnivore coming. The cage is locked, so it ain't no running. The what get hands and prepare to dance. And you getting the victory is not in the plan. Technique to advance. Train Yo, what's going on, my fellow nerds in the hood? You know what it is. So, we're going to try something new, something different. This video was called This Week in Arrowverse. And what we're going to do is talk about these week's episodes in the Arrowverse. It's a new season, everything just kicking off. And uh, the first show of the week was uh, Batwoman. And this was her first episode. And uh, we're going to have some spoilers. So, you know I mean, if you don't want to know the spoilers, then. You might have to get up out of here, but uh, the first episode of Batwoman, we meet Cassandra Cain, you know what I'm saying, which is Batman's cousin, and uh, Bruce Wayne has been gone for three years, and uh, her dad had her away at like some uh, boarding school type of thing, keeping her out the way, because she got into a car accident back in the day, and her sister and her mom died and her dad had this like security firm and like she wanted to work be like security guard in the action he didn't want to do it so that's the reason he sent her to boarding school and then when she was at this little military boarding school you know i mean she lesbian she met this chick and uh they got caught messing around and cassandra got expelled so the black girl, her girlfriend that she was messing with, decided that she wasn't going to be lesbian no more and that she needed the school so she was going to stay. That was like a little flashback. So then when they come in the present time, her girl gets kidnapped. So she comes back to Gotham and uh, she's trying to help save her little girlfriend. Then she finds out that her girlfriend's married. So then... uh. She's snooping around uh, uh, Wayne uh, Enterprises, Wayne Headquarters, you know what I'm saying? And we meet uh, Luke, Luke Fox, which is the son of Lucius Fox, which is actually Batwing in the comics. And he started out in Batman Inc., you know what I'm saying? And uh, they had him, and I want to say it's Batman Bad Blood animated when they had uh, Batwing in his suit working with Nightwing and everything. But in this uh, adaptation of him, they got a little more on the geeky side. So I don't think he has that in him to become Batwing, at least not yet. Because he don't look like he's nice with the hands or he's good with any of that stuff at all. So and, uh, she's doing her thing. And then uh, she finds out that her cousin Bruce Wayne is Batman. She finds the Batcave and... Lucius, uh, well, Lucius, Luke, he knows about the Batcave, and he knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman, so he was trying to hide it from her, and him being a little soft dude, she kind of bullied him in uh, making an outfit for the female, then she wears the outfit, and she goes and saves her little girlfriend that was captured, the little black chick, she saved her, that's when, after she saved her and she talked to her, she found out that she was married and all this other stuff. And she thought she was going to get back with her, but that's not going to happen. And she pretty much figured out she got to do things her own way. So her doing her things her own way is by becoming Batwoman. Then uh, our main villain that we come to find out, her name is Alice. And she's got like this Alice in Wonderland type theme going on and... And come to find out that we learn at the end of the episode that Alice is actually uh, Cassandra's sister that we the thought had died at the car crash at the beginning. But she's all crazy now and she figured this out because when she was fighting her henchmen, she had this ruby around her neck. And that when the chick Alice threw a knife at her, the knife had that same ruby in it. So she kind of put two and two together and figured out that uh alice is her sister that she thought was dead for like the last 15 years you know what i'm saying and that's going so that's how that's that how that ended so 
that episode was pretty good too. So Batwoman is pretty much her arch nemesis is going to be her sister Alice, but Alice isn't going to know that Batwoman is her sister. I'm going. It's kind of interesting to see how that how that plays out because they both miss each other. You know what I'm saying? And like, because both of them had pictures of each other at the end. They show Alice with a picture of her and her sister when they were small right before the car crash and that was the pretty much the end of that and then uh next on the list we get into superwoman and a uh, supergirl excuse me and i really don't like supergirl but i watch it anyway just because and i've been off for a couple seasons so i'm not really caught up caught up so i'm just like jumping in on season five i think it was and pretty much supergirl starts off and i did notice they got Brainiac 5 there from Legions and he got a girl and she got some powers but I didn't really catch her name in the episode or her superpower name but I saw in the costume towards the end when they had a little fight scene so uh pretty much in this episode uh I want to say Lena Lena Luther pretty much Lex's sister she figured out because her and Supergirl Kara's been like best friends throughout the whole show and at the end of last season, she found out that Kara was Supergirl and she was upset because she never told her. And they thought they was going to be best friends. So what she wound up doing is uh, she sold the, uh, the little news, the news uh, business with that, she, that uh, Kara and Jimmy Olsen that they all worked at. She had sold it to some new chick. Some new chick came in. I mean, new exec trying to boss things around, trying to change things up. It was pretty much part of her plan to get back at them because they know that that would hurt them and then uh she had was about to give the new girl some uh information about supergirl's uh true identity then come to find out supergirl wound up telling her anyway you know what i mean had this little heartfelt and why she didn't tell her for her own safety you know so then lana plays along with it and uh we have this little girl stealing all these like little uh scientific pieces and then we come to find out in the episode that um what she was putting together was a a phantom zone protector because she was trying to and she was trying to free somebody from the phantom zone which she did she wanted to free some chick named nightmare and she wanted to get revenge and nobody knew who put it there. Then come to find out it was the Martian Manhunter who put it there. So had they had that little beef and they had a little the little fight with him. And then uh the news lady that uh Miss Luther sold the uh, business to, she was supposed to get the file with Kara's secret identity, but uh Luthor she stopped it and uh then like she got this like like this Alexa type thing in her in her little crib, like an artificial intelligence, and she was asking her, did she forgive her, and she was like, no, she didn't forgive her. She's a Luther, and she gonna hit with a sting, and she gonna use knowing Supergirl's identity to her own benefit. And then towards the end of the episode, we find out who the little girl is, and she happens to be a Martian, cause you know they shapeshift, and it was happen to be the Martian Manhunter's uh brother. And he tried to say that the Martian Manhunter was a traitor. And he was like, nah, his brother was a traitor. But he was like, I don't even remember having a brother, blah, blah. So they did some little psychic link and his little memory came back of him and his brother and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Then after that was, that was pretty much it. After he revealed himself to two Martians, first uh, John was denying that he had a brother then. He he was denying the fact that he had a brother just because his brother was a traitor, you know what I'm saying? Let me clear that up a little bit for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And that was a pretty much the end of that one. They defeated Nightmare and put her back in the Phantom Zone. And uh, then next on the list, we had Black Lightning. And Black Lightning starts off, well, pretty much all the uh meta humans that was in the lab all the kids they held being held by the government black lightning's being held there he's been there for some time now his hair's all long and crazy and so is his beard his wife has been there for for a minute and pretty much the uh 
Agent Odell was trying is pretty much keeping him there hostage for the benefit of the government because uh the other chick who was working on the uh the, the Medicare's with her, she's with the uh Markovians now because that's who they beefing with. Supposed to be this Markovian war. The Markovians they like a uh like a fake Germany Russia type of country, you know what I mean? One of those northern Europeans, I guess western European countries, you know what I'm saying? One of those little hard countries like Germany, Russia, one of them type shits, you know what I'm saying? They had like uh if you watched um uh what's that young young uh Young Justice? Yeah, if you watch Young Justice uh season three they got the Markovians in there, and we met a guy named G Force, and he was good. But now Geo Force, he was good, but now he's bad, and he's the leader, the king of the Markovians, and he got powers too. He's a metahuman, and we go back, and they pretty much dealing with the metahuman trafficking. Then the Wachovian Markovians, they sent in some uh, some soldiers and some metahumans to try to to steal the uh, steal the humans. The, uh, the teenagers that they had in the tubes, the tube kids from the last couple seasons, the metahuman kids that they was first experimenting on from like the 30s after they had woke them up from the containment for being so long. They had, uh, they was trying to get them and, uh, they wound up defeating them because Odell, he had like this metahuman that, that, uh, on his side that we didn't know he was a metahuman, didn't come to find out him and Black Lightning know each other. And uh, while Black Lightning is walking through, like he's a prisoner in his lab, but he got like a, he got like a little freedom to walk around, and like now he's getting the ability to like see through walls without his suits, and he can see like the other uh, kids in the uh, in the facility, and they got this one kid, and his secret power is like he asks you a question, and you got to tell him the truth, so the government got him on lockdown, and then as he's looking on and. He see Tobias Wells, and uh, I'm like, damn, the third season Tobias Wells, but he's all old and getting gray because uh, they got like these, like these metahuman collars on him, stopping from using their powers. So now that uh, he's getting old now, you know what I'm saying, and his powers ain't keeping him young and strong no more. So Tobias, he was in there. And they trying to figure out what was in his briefcase, and they got the boy asking them, and he really didn't. He's really trying to fight it, trying to fight it. And they get the information out the boy. Then Odell comes in, and he talking to the boy, and the boy was like, "I thought you was going to try to kill me." And Odell was like, "Yeah." Then he was like, "Well, how are you going to try to kill me?" Then he looked at his food that he'd been giving him. I guess he poisoned his food, and he and the boy wound up dying. And while that's going on. We got uh, Thunder and the youngest sister. They got a couple of these metahumans free, and they trying to let them out the city. But it's like this little force field over the city. So they found a little hole in their little gap. So they trying to get some people out of there because it's on lockdown. And the government and metahumans is getting kidnapped. So she's doing that with Gamby. She's, uh, that's her little side mission throughout the episode. And uh, she had a little black on black lesbian sex scene and she had on like these lacy thongs and let me tell you yo and this was looking right yo this shit was hot yo she was looking good in that goddamn thong let me tell you something but then what else happened in this episode uh that was pretty much it black lightning up in the facility then her helping the other metahumans getting out and that was pretty much black lightning that's all that was going on. Then Anissa, she's still trying to find her girlfriend, who's a safe sister from the first episode. They still, she was still trying to work on that on the side, while she was still trying to help out uh, Gamby get these uh, metahumans out of the city because the city was on lockdown and the curfew. And that was the episode of Black Lightning. And then, last but not least, we get into one of my favorite shows. We get into the Flash. And pretty much with the Flash, we're dealing with Barry and Iris, dealing with the loss of Nora after they changed history. And she disappeared. Then they go into the little secret computer room, find out Barry is going to disappear December of 2019 this year. So that's probably when they do the Infinite Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, crossover with all the episodes. And then uh, during that episode, they had like 
Godspeed, but it was like a fake Godspeed, and they said this was the fourth one they caught, so that was no big deal. Like, they really kind of wasted that character, Godspeed, another speedster, but he was from the future <clears throat> in this show, but in the comic book, he was a, a CSI guy like Barry. Barry worked with him plenty of times, you know what I mean? That was Barry's dude, and he got super speed, and he just started killing people who he thought should die. That was a little backstory of uh, the real Godspeed. So they had all these fake Godspeeds running around, and they wound up locking him up. They took him into a little prison joint, and then uh, they had this uh, this geeky little kid. He had, like, a little YouTube channel, and he was a little scientist, and he was putting things together, and then he was, uh, he accidentally was making black holes, you know what I'm saying? And then... He accidentally touched it, and half of his mind was like black hole, so he was like in a coma, and like, he had random, like, in his mind, he would have, like, thoughts, and black holes would pair up in, like, his favorite spots where he liked to chill and stuff like that, and they found, they put a bomb together, and they was going to blow it up, then they figured out that if they blew up the, the black hole, then the kid was going to die. So they had to find the other way. Everybody else was like, nah, there is no other way. You know what I mean? We got to do this sacrifice. And Barry was like, no, I'm not losing nobody else. You know what I mean? He lost his daughter. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't really trying to feel that. So they wound up helping him out. They figured it out. Barry had a... Uh, they read some little Barry suit up. So he jumped in the black hole, grabbed dude's consciousness, and they had him like in some type of containment unit. And they put the his consciousness in that containment unit and he was coming back to his normal self and while that was going on we had uh killer frost she was dealing with her and caitlin got this little thing going on where killer frost wasn't really coming out and like and uh dabney was trying to talk to caitlin like a little therapy session trying to help her out and she was like kind of Dad me told her to talk to Killer Frost, you know what I'm saying? Because she can talk to her inside her head. They can have conversations. And pretty much Killer Frost wanted to kind of have her own life because she just been trapped as just as a protector, superhero. Just whenever you need me, I come out. But then uh, Caitlin agreed to give her the keys, you know what I mean, to let Killer Frost live. You know what I mean? They thought it would be good for both of them, you know what I mean, to kind of share the body. And that was pretty much the Flash, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really... Sh and, oh, the Anti-Monitor showed up at the end of the uh, episode of the Flash, getting him ready for that crisis on Infinite Earths, telling there was n nothing that he can do, that if he wanted to save everybody, then he going to have to sacrifice himself, you know what I'm saying? And they went through a little dialogue with that, Barry asking, trying to plead with him or something he got to do, but he was like, nah, it ain't nothing you can do. You're going to die if you want to save everybody, you know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much how the flash ended, and that's the CW for this week, you know what I'm saying? It's probably the longest video I ever did. We were pushing over at almost 19 minutes, so that's the CW for this week. We had started off with Batwoman, was pretty good. Supergirl, which I really didn't like, but this episode was better since it seemed like it's been getting better over the last year or so, so that was cool. Black Lightning was alright, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they just try to be a little too black with it, you know what I'm saying? Just a little over the top with it. And The Flash was The Flash getting you ready for Crisis on Infinite Earths, you know what I'm saying? And that's the CW for this week, yo. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. If you stay here for the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you feel about the shows. If you watching them, you don't watch them. What you think. You know what I'm saying? Yo, until next time, yo, I'm out. Peace.